got independence in 1961 and at that time uh, many of the health experts were foreigners and many of them did not see themselves being under the rule of a black man so they left and so the government of the day had the challenge of uh, trying to staff its very few health facilities with a people that could provide the basic health, health needs of the, of the, of the people. The Makere University was the only university in East Africa where people could uh, study to become doctors. And the number of slots given to a country were rather few. And so the government had to look for ways of increasing the number of doctors rapidly since many of the foreigners had left. But in 1963, the government decided to enroll students who would pursue a course, not the MD, the Doctor of Medicine degree, but something just below that, but above the medical assistant level. And they call it an assistant medical officer program. Uh, so these 10 students started this program of assistant medical officer. By 1967, the government made the decision that these will become doctors. So they will graduate as doctors. But because they did not undergo a training program as doctors from the word go, they had to get additional training. For example, they had to get classes in biochemistry, which they didn't have in their original program, so that they could qualify to become doctors. And in 1967, uh, the institution then became a faculty of medicine of the then University of East Africa. Now, in 1970, the University of East Africa broke into three universities. Um, University of Nairobi, Makerere, and the then University of Dar es Salaam. The faculty of medicine of the then University of East Africa, which was at Mwimbili, became one of the founding faculties of the University of Dar es Salaam in 1970. Yes, 1991, a, a request was made to the mother university uh, to become a constituent college. Uh, and by definition, a constituent college is an institution which is in, in the waiting to become a university. So you run your own affairs, uh, the administrative affairs, human resource affairs, uh, but academic programs remain with the main university. And so that was granted and it was made very clear that if you want to become a university, you will need more land and you will need more programs. Uh, so after we had achieved that, the land in particularly, requesting to be now uh, be converted to a university, a full-fledged university, wasn't difficult and subsequently we were given the University Charter in 2007. When this institution started in 1963, we started with 10 students. Uh, but this institution have grown today, we have over 4,000 students. We have 101 academic programs. We have over 115 sponsored research projects. Uh, so a number of achievements have been realized since this uh, institution started. And uh, this year, in June 2023, this institution was recognized as the third best university in sub-Saharan Africa 
Uh, the two best universities were from South Africa. So you can imagine a country like Tanzania, we have been able to compete with other countries in South Africa, and an institution like Muas has been ranked in number three. And this achievement is because of the support that we have received from the government, from the employers, uh, from partners, and different stakeholders. <music>
forward, although we, are, we have programs for MSc uh, programs in traditional medicine development, uh, we are also uh, training traditional healers on good practice. So far, we have trained over 100 traditional uh, practitioners who normally come here at MOAS for annual training. The way forward, where we are going, we are about to start new programs on traditional medi herbal medicine produ uh, production and also on traditional medicine. The School of Dentistry started as a division in 1979 with one undergraduate program, the Doctor of Dental Surgery program. By then, all the lecturers were foreigners and uh, were assisted with few Tanzanians who were trained in abroad. In 2007, when Mohas became a fully-fledged university, the School of Dentistry became a school. Over the years, the school kept on expanding in terms of acquiring its own local lecturers by training its own lecturers, which is cheap than training them outside the country. The school has increased enrollment of undergraduate students from 10 to 20 in the past to up to 70 students uh, currently, and from one to five uh, postgraduate students to up to 15 to 20 postgraduate students currently. In terms of program being offered, now the school is offering the one undergraduate program and five postgraduate programs as well as PhD uh, programs with a plan of adding one more undergraduate program soon. And in terms of service uh, being delivered, coupled with improved infrastructure, facilities, equipment and technology, the school is able to sustain training and services and it's somewhat responsible in handling referral patients from all over the country. Also, the School of Dentistry is responsible for over 90% of dentists or dental surgeons and dental specialists who are practicing in both public and private facilities in Tanzania. Furthermore, since the program began, students from within Tanzania and foreign countries have been enrolled and graduated from our school. Our future plan is to keep on improving areas of research, services are being delivered, infrastructure, facilities, equipment and technology as well as programs from the current five to eight uh, postgraduate programs and also more PhD enrollment. We are also on the plan to establish an East Africa Center of Excellence for Oral Health Sciences very, very soon. Our school started in 2003 with the major of three institutes, uh, Institute of Public Health, Institute of Development Studies, and Institute of uh, Primary Health Care and Continuing Education. The school started with one uh, undergraduate program, which is Bachelor of Science in Environmental Health, and four master's program. Currently, it is 20 years now since the school started and uh, we have achieved a number of things. Um, the enrollment of our undergraduate program has expanded significantly. We are now enrolling 100 students compared to 30 students in 2003. Uh, but also uh, we have established more postgraduate programs. Currently the school has 18 postgraduate uh, programs compared with uh, four postgraduate programs that um, were there when the school started. When we started in 2003, we had only five research collaborations, but currently we have more than 30 research collaborations. Uh, in terms of our future plan, uh, we are in the process of establishing more undergraduate programs so that we can also cater for the market's needs but uh, we are also planning to grow into becoming a college of uh, public health and social sciences in the future. We train uh, uh, public health specialists in our school so that when they go out there uh, as competent public health graduates can help the country 
to ensure that we have health populations that will contribute towards social and economic development of this nation. the Faculty of Nursing where I was upgraded to a School of Nursing and the School of Nursing is having three departments, Clinical Nursing Department, uh, Department of Nursing Management and Department of uh, Community Health Nursing. School of Nursing offering three undergraduate uh, program and we have uh, uh, six postgraduate program the school started with a very small number uh, of faculty. Uh, initially, uh, they started with less than 10 faculty. But currently, as we are talking, uh, the school has grown up. We are almost about 39 uh, faculty and two administrative staff. Again, as I said, the school started as a faculty with a very few number uh, of students, but then uh, the first cohort had students less than uh, six. For undergraduate program, the school has more than 300 uh, students. For undergraduate program, but also we have like 100 students for postgraduate uh, students. We have various projects which are undergone in the School of Nursing in various the three departments. The school uh, is running several short course as uh, continuous professional development for staff who are working in the, in the, in the field. Uh, we have so many collaboration. We are collaborating with uh, several universities within the country as well as outside the country, Europe and in Africa. Um, the school pharmacy was established in 1974. It's about uh, four decades ago. Um, by then, the school had one program, the Bachelor of Pharmacy, and uh, with the duration of three years. And then in 1986, uh, because of some demand that were um, observed by then, it changed to four year four years program. Uh, the school has five departments. Each department has a postgraduate program. Some have two, like uh, medicinal chemistry has M farm of quality control and quality assurance and uh, M farm of medicinal chemistry. Currently, we have been revising our programs and then we want to introduce um, two more new programs, the MSc um, Bioinformatics and then the MSc in the Phytopharmaceutical and the Natural Medicine Science. So we have made some progress since 1974 because by then you had five postgraduate programs, but now we have nine programs. Um, the school boasts itself by having majority of the faculty, I mean the academic member of staff, uh, who are PhD holders. With regard to the intake of students, we moved from 24 students for the Bachelor of Pharmacy to recently 110. I am very privileged to be part of the celebration of 60 years of MUHAS. For the 60 years, MUHAS has been a university of a dream for every young girl and boy thinking of pursuing a career in medicine or health allied sciences. This is because MUHAS has a very high quality in teaching methodology, practical training. Also, MUHAS has affordable fee structures and equipment for students to learn and a good learning environment for students to pursue. 
Uh, MUHAS conducts more hands-on training with a competence-based curriculum, something that attracts more students to participate or be part of this global university. For over 60 years, MUHAS has been a factory producing various professions and experts in the health sector as well as most of government institutions, something that makes most students being attracted to MUHAS, especially students with dreams of being experts in various health sectors and leading some various government institutions. Many students at MUHAS are happy and enjoying the environment at MUHAS due to having a very favorable environment and conducive environment for training as well as having a privilege to train in the national hospital. So it's an added advantage for students at MUHAS and we are enjoying life at MUHAS.